going on YouTube uh, I got three tips that's gonna help you with your general contract exam three study guide tips uh, I had a lot of people hitting me up and they was asking what were some of the main tips that I had and uh, these are one of the three tips that I had that really would help you um, so the first thing I say is you know try to hone in on the information that you're receiving and what I mean is like master that that the information you're getting uh, particularly particularly on um, you know a certain you know part of construction so say if it's framing I want you to be able to know everything about framing by reading that book and understanding every component of framing uh, if it, it could be like law or like, like this book right here law uh, business law so with business law you need to know everything about business law. You need to read this book and understand and comprehend what it is uh, it's saying. Uh, don't just be reading a book and just going through the motions. You need to really like learn it. For one, it's going to help you. It's going to help you with your your contract, uh, your construction business. It's going to help you with general contracting. It's going to help you uh, lay out a plan. It's going to help you um, learn all the laws and and, and and getting into certain situations with contracting. You know, it's certain contracts and you're doing, if you're doing a government contract or if you've been in a home, you're doing a contract with a, a client, these, this book is going to really help you. So you're not wasting your time really, really uh, reading the book and really understanding the book. Don't try to go through the book just to pass the exam. You want to really learn the information and comprehend it. So basically you want to power, you want to, um, you want to master that information, uh, whether it's uh business law it could be framing it could be uh roofing uh it could be blueprinting whatever it is i would say whatever it is that you're weak in whatever your weak area is i would definitely try to hone in on that particular um section of, of the exam and, and try to master it uh and then uh another tip i would say would be practice thinking and what i mean like practice thinking whatever it is that you read i want you to meditate on it that night think about it really hard Meditate, meditate on it that night. Think about it real hard and let it come to you. The next day, you should still be able to remember what it was that you read. So now you're you're, you're thinking, you're practicing, uh, using, uh, keeping that information in your head and going over it in your head. So you're practicing it. Uh, so that's going to be a good tip. Um, the next tip I would say would be uh, pretty much like organization. Uh, a lot of people I notice in the exam, they're taking the exam, they're getting in there, they got their books in there, uh, but they're fumbling through the books. Uh, the test is time, so every minute counts. Uh, I think it's like a ratio. From what I understand from me taking the exams, I would say you need about two minutes per question. I would say that would be safe. So two minutes per question, I mean, that's reading it, finding the answer, finding through the books, and answering it. Uh, that would be about the about the correct ratio with the exam, depending on if you're taking a NASCAR or you're just taking a regular uh, general contractor, uh, residential or, or, or commercial exam. Um, but if you got if you're organized, you know it's going to help you. It's going to cut down on some of that formal time. You know if you're trying to reach for the books, you got all these books in there. You're trying to reach for the book and uh, and, and then. Man, you know what? This ain't even the right book. I'm, the stuff I'm looking for, this ain't even it. So now I'm going to get the other book. By the time that you done lost five minutes. You do that ten times, man, you're going to be panicking at the very end. You see what I'm saying? So what you need to basically do is practice studying your organization at home. Like, So while you're studying for the exam, have your books lined up a certain way. How you going to grab them. You know what I'm saying? So when you go into the exam, have your books laid out the same way you study at home. You see what I'm saying? That way you know. You, you, it's kind of set in nature, like you just grab it, boom, study it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and having your books tabbed, having it organized, having your book very organized, tabbed correctly, organization is very important. It's going to cut down on the time, having it tabbed right. Uh, you should be able to, like this book right here, if I look, if I'm reading the question on the exam and it says something about contracts, automatically I know this is business law. It's, a, it's got something to do with business. It's got something to do with law contracting. So what I would do, I would go to my tab, contracting, right there, boom, I'm there. You see what I'm saying? And it right there, required contract evidence. Not only that I have it tabbed, I have it highlighted. See what I'm saying? And then I can go, boom. And from there, 
I can go to the next page and I can go tell you, it's going to tell you everything I need to know about contract and I can at a glance. So you see how my organization is. If it's something about uh, building code, then I know, boom, let me get my building code. You know what I'm saying? If it's something about OSHA, boom, let me get my OSHA book. But I ain't going to be it's a whole bunch of books stacked up and I'm trying to get all my books. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I, you want to have organized. So you don't want to be panicking in the exam, man. You want to be smooth. Collect, you know what I'm saying? I know it's hard to be smooth. I'm smooth, you know what I'm saying? You know, it, it ain't, I, I ain't gonna tell you to be as smooth as me. It, it ain't, you know, that's just a natural thing, you know. It's like being an athlete. You got it. Some of us got it, some of us don't. So, you know. But, you know, some of us can kick, some of us can't. You might can't run 40, you, can't, you might can't run a 4 3 and a 40, but I might can't kick a field goal either. But, you know, organization is very important. So, that would be one of the main tips that I would tell you that would help you in the exam. Organization, practice thinking, and uh, homing in on the information, comprehension. Uh, you know, comp comp uh, you know, just just understanding the information pretty much. Like, just taking in, like, you know what I'm saying? Taking in what you're learning and really comprehending the information. Like, it, it should stick to you. Like so, if we write, if I'm in front of you right now and I ask you a question about anything that had something to do with the the, uh, the exam, you know, when you when you can answer like that, you're ready for the exam. If you can't answer like that, you're not ready. You're just gonna go in there and fail, and have to go back again, fail, and go back again. Trust me, you know. If I ask you something about uh, if I ask you something about the exam and a uh, question in the exam, and you 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 know, and like I said, you're you're going over a lot of material. And all out of about 500 to 700 questions that you're going over, you know, you probably won't see but 100 of them on that exam. You know what I'm saying? It's like seven different tests, seven different exams set up different ways, and they have different questions scattered all over the place. So you just never know what you're going to run into. But if you're well prepared, you're well organized, and, and, and you're efficient on what you've been studying, you're going to do well. Uh, so that will be... The three tips that I would definitely tell you that uh, helped me, and I know it'll help you. So, uh, if you found this video helpful to you, uh, please like, subscribe, comment below, holler at me, let me know anything it is that you know I might can enlighten you on, uh, and hit that bell button. I got plenty of content coming, man. So I don't want y'all to miss it. I'm out.